When you think of Chicago blues, you think Muddy Waters or Buddy Guy. They're just questioning, you know, how we know anything about this, because it's, you know, a lot of people think it's old folk music, you know. Uh, but once they see us play, all the questions really stop. <laughs> We'll see how three suburban teenagers are taking the blues world by storm and representing Chicago against bands from around the world. They are following in the footsteps of Muddy Waters and Buddy Guy. A group of young suburban musicians are singing the blues all way to an international competition at the end of this month. Natalie Bobke tells us they are so good you won't believe what you're hearing. It is music you can feel. I wonder this time it's typically associated with old souls, but a young group out of Glenwood is changing the face of the blues. In my opinion of blues is like, blues doesn't have any age. 17-year-old Stacy Norris has been playing drums since she was seven, when her dad bought her a Toys R Us drum set. Blues is um, it's the type of music where it, it really comes from your soul, and uh, they, for, for guys who are 16, 17, 18 years old, uh, it's amazing that they can uh, express it that way. Stacy, Kendall Carter, and Peyton McDowell met at Homewood Flossmore High School, where two are still students. They became Mud City Blue. My grandmother taught me how to uh, just listen and like find like good blues uh, records everywhere, like just where to go, even like the stores. Their idols include Stevie Ray Vaughan, Jimmy Reed, and Muddy Waters. <laughs> It's really timeless. I think it's it's really a genre of music that is just really uh, expressive and it just really defies, you know, all age limits. At the end of the month, the trio will be traveling to Memphis for the International Blues Challenge. They are the only youth group from Chicago going to the festival, and they realize the responsibility of representing the home of the blues. We definitely have a responsibility uh, as blues musicians coming from where we come from. You know, the, the rich history in Chicago, we're always just uh, thinking in the back of our minds about everybody that came before us when we're playing. They got to get a gig at Buddy Guy sometime. They do. Loop, right? oh, we wish them luck. <laughs>